Okay, for week six, we will now this uh, we will have a short uh, summary of the Philippine Greed Code. We have the overview of this Philippine Greed Code, which is establish the basic rules, requirements, procedures, and standards that govern the operation, maintenance, and development of the high voltage backbone transmission system in the Philippines. Now we are now discussing high voltage backbone. Okay, this grid code identifies and recognizes the responsibilities and obligations of three key independent factional groups, which is namely a grid owner. Okay, second one is the system operator, and the third one is the market operator. Okay, these functional groups and all users of the grid must comply with all the provisions of the grid code. Okay, number one, the grid code is intended to be used with market rules of the wholesale electricity spot market or we consider this as WESEM or WESM to ensure the safe, reliable, and efficient operation of the grid. Okay, the chapters. We will this just cover the five first five chapters of this grid code. The chapter one cites the legal and regulatory framework for the promulgation and enforcement of the Philippine Grid Code. So it also specifies the general provisions that apply to all the other chapters of the Grid Code. And this consider that the chapter 1 is the important thing because this is consist, uh, consists of the definition of terms and abbreviations used in this code. While the chapter 2 is the Grid Management where it specifies the guidelines for grid management, the procedure for dispute resolution, the required operational reports, and the process for grid code enforcement and future revision. While well, the chapter three performs the standards for transmission. Okay, so in chapter three, it specifies the performance standards for transmission of electricity that applies to the grid owner. So in this part, there's a many material standards, uh, insulation standards for grid or transmission lines. So please take note on this and read all the sections. And it also considered the safety standards for the protection of personnel in the work environment. And the chapter four, this is connected with the financial standards for generation and transmissions. So, it ensures the affordability of electric power supply and to protect the public interest also. While in the chapter 5 is the grid connection requirements where it specifies the procedures and requirements to be complied with by any user who is seeking connection or modification of existing connection to the grid. Okay, this is, this covers all the, some of the grid users such as uh, distribution line owners such as double light or any cooperative which is one of the primary consumers of the grid so it also specifies the minimum technical design and operational criteria in the grid so this chapter 5 helps you if you want to consider yourself as uh, feature experts on distribution and transmission lines the chapter 5 helps you to be familiar on some of the grid connection standards and requirements.